As we all know, PHP is a backend programming language. Mostly it is considered as server-side scripting language. So we need one server to run PHP script. Okay, so for that we are going to use XAMPP and we will see how to install XAMPP. We are having multiple options. We are having RAMP. Okay, you can install any one of this. Based on your requirements, you can install this one. Okay, I will be using XAMPP. So I'm just going to install this XAMPP and we are going to do a basic setup and we will be writing basic PHP code so that we will have clear idea from where we have to write which folders we have to use while writing PHP code. Okay, now here I have just opened here. Okay, I have just written here XAMPP. Okay, here I'm having this first link. XAMPP is nothing but it is a free and open source cross-platform web server solution stack package developed by Apache Friends. Okay, we are having VAMP. You can install VAMP or XAMPP. Okay, here once you get this one, I'm just going to open this. Inside this website, we are having this definition. If you want, you can just read this one. And inside this, we are having options for Windows, for Linux and for Mac OS. Okay, whichever operating system you are using, you can select that particular option and you can install that one. Okay, as of now, I'm using Windows operating system. So I'm just going to install for Windows. Okay, you just have to click on this. Whichever operating system you are using, you just have to click on that option. And down you can see it will start installing. Totally it is of 165 MB and it will take some time to install. It completely depends on your internet speed. Okay, it will take some time, at least one to two minutes to install. So let us wait for that one. Once it is installed, we are going to set up for this and we will be writing the PHP code. Now till it get installed, let me just open VS Code Editor and here I'm having the code for that. Okay, now here I have just written PHP. Let me just change it to HTML. I have just changed to HTML. I'll just copy this path. And here I'm just going to paste that path. Now you can see whatever code I have written, I will be getting the output here. Okay, for HTML I'm going to get. But if I just write here, if I just change the extension to .php, I'll just copy the path again. Okay, let me just copy the path. And here I'm just going to paste that path. Now you can see I will not be getting any output. As we all know, PHP is a backend programming language, server side scripting language. So we need server. So we need local host to run this one. Okay, it is not going to detect .php extension. And whatever I have written inside this one, this entire thing, whatever I have written here, that has been displayed to me. Okay, output is not displayed. The entire content, whatever I have written, that has been displayed to me. I don't want this one. Okay, so for that, we are going to install this one, XAMPP. And inside this, we will be having option to start Apache. And also, we are going to use MySQL database. Okay, if you are storing any data, if you are sending any data inside the database, then we are going to use MySQL. We are going to start both options and we will be using this one. Once it gets installed, I will be telling you what all you have to start and how you have to write PHP code. Now, it is successfully downloaded. Right click on this and here we are having open and show in folder. Okay, directly I'm just going to click on open. Okay, once I click on this, it is going to open welcome wizard and from there we can just install this one. Okay, let's just wait for that. Here I'm having this setup wizard. I'll just click on next and inside this we are having all these select components. Okay, here I'm having all these components. I'm just going to select all these things. Okay, you can just tick for all these options. You don't have to uncheck for any one of this. I'll just click on next. And here I'm having the select folder. I'm just going to browse and here I'm just going to change the path. I'll just come to D directory and inside this I'm just going to create one folder. I'll just create XAMPP. I'll just click on next. Okay, now this will be installed in D directory and inside this XAMPP folder. I'll just click on next and language will be English. If you don't want to change the location, then you don't have to change. But if you want to change and if you want to install in another directory, then you can use that one. I am just installing inside the directory. I'll just click on next. Again, I just click on next. Okay, here we are having this link. If you want, you can just click on this and you can read that one. Okay, now setup is ready to begin installing XAMPP on your computer. I'll just select Google. I'll just click on OK. Here you are having some theory about Bitnami modules. You can just read that one. As of now, I'm just going to leave here. I'll just open this setup wizard. I'll just click on next. Okay, now it will start installing and it will take some time to install. Okay, like two to three minutes it is going to take. Okay, everything about Bitnami, everything it is going to display. If you want, you can just see this one and you can read the lines. Okay, if you are having firewall and if you are getting this wizard, okay, Windows Defender Firewall has blocked some of the features, then you just have to allow access.
Okay, just click on this and you will not be having any issues. I'll just click on allow access. Now still it is not complete. It will take some time to install. Now complete installation is done. Once it is done, here you can see completing the XAMPP setup wizard. As soon as it is done, if you want to launch that one, you can just tick this one and you can just click on finish. Okay, if you don't want, then you can just uncheck for this and you can just click on finish. Okay, as of now, I'm just going to check. I'll just click on finish. Okay, now it is going to open the control panel and inside that we will be having options. We'll be having Apache, we'll be having MySQL and we are having plenty of options and we are going to see what are those options. See, this is the control panel of XAMPP and inside this we are having Apache, MySQL, FileZilla, Mercury, Tomcat. FileZilla, Mercury and Tomcat we are not going to use. We are going to use only Apache and MySQL. Okay, MySQL is the database and Apache will be acting as a local server for PHP script. Okay, I'm just going to start this one and also let me just start this MySQL database. I will be showing you the dashboard of PHP My Admin. Okay, I'm just going to click on allow access. Okay, if you are having firewall, then you can just allow the access. You will not be having any issues. If your firewall is off, then you will not be having that pop-up. Okay, now I have just started this one. Okay, now here I have just written this PHP script. Let me just copy the path. And again, I'm just going to run this one. Okay, will I get the output? Let's check. You can see again, I'm not getting the output. Why? Because wherever we have installed XAMPP, let me just come to that directory. I'll just come to D directory. And inside that, I have just installed this XAMPP. Inside this XAMPP folder, we will be having multiple folders. Okay, once you install this one, by default, you will be getting all these folders, files and everything you are going to get. Inside this, we are having one important folder that is nothing but htdocs. Here you can see inside this htdocs folder, we are going to write our entire code. We are going to create the folder and inside this itself, we are going to write a PHP script. Now here I'm just going to create one folder. Let me just write here PHP code. Now, I'll just open this and here I'm just going to right click open with code. We have already seen how to download Visual Studio code. Now, here I'm just going to open that one. Okay, I have just created one folder inside htdocs folder. Okay, now if you get this kind of pop-up, just check this one. Now, here I'm just going to create one file index.php. Now, inside this, I'm just going to write the basic setup basic boilerplate of html let me just change the title to php code and inside this i'm just going to write h1 i'll just write here hello world i'll save this now i'm just going to copy the path i'll just come here again i'm let me just close all these things and here i'm just going to paste that one Okay, now you can see again I'm getting the output here. Okay, whatever text I have written here, whatever content I'm having here, again I'm getting the same thing, but I don't want this one. I want only output should be displayed. So for that, let me just come here. Whatever path I have copied, I'm just going to paste until here. Okay, where we are having this one, I'm just going to remove this. Instead of that, I'm just going to write here localhost because PHP is a server for So we need one localhost. We need server to run. So we are going to remove all the path. We will be writing our folder name, our file name. And before that, we just have to write here localhost. I'll just enter. Now you can see I am getting the output. Okay, whatever I have written here, that output I am getting here. Now if I just copy some code from here, let me just come to this file. And from here, let me just copy all. Okay, let me just copy this main. I'll copy this one. You don't have to worry what is this. I'll just come here. And below this, I'm just going to paste that one. I'll save this. I'll refresh this one. Now you can see I will be getting the proper output. Okay, whatever content I have written there, that I will be getting here. Okay, this is how we have to write. Wherever you have installed XAMPP, you just have to come there. And inside that, we will be having htdocs folder. And inside this folder itself, we have to create all the projects. Okay, you cannot create anywhere. Wherever we are having htdocs, there only we have to create. Okay, inside this, by default, we are having some of these folders and files. You can just ignore that one. And inside this, we are just creating our folder. Okay, now we are done with this. Let me just open this one. And here we are having this admin. I'll just click on this admin. Okay, inside this MySQL, I'm just going to click on this admin and it will open the PHP My Admin dashboard. I'm just going to show you the dashboard of PHP My Admin dashboard. And inside that, we can create databases, we can create tables, we can do a lot of stuff, whatever we want. 
So you can see once you click on that, it is going to open localhost slash PHP my admin. Now you can see this is the dashboard of PHP my admin and by default we are having five databases on left side. If we want to create any new database, we just have to click on new and we can give the database name here and we just have to click on create. Okay, this is how we are going to create database and inside that we can create tables. Okay, this is the graphical user interface. If you want, you can use command line interface and you can create the database and tables. Okay, you can use any one of the method and you can create the tables and databases. We will be using this dashboard and we are going to create databases. We are going to create tables and we are going to see that in next steps. Now, if you just stop this one, let me just stop this service. I have stopped that one. Now, if I refresh this one, it's loading here. Now you can see I will be getting, okay, this site cannot be reached. Okay, only if we start that one, only then we will be able to access this. And also you can see now this PHP script, if I just refresh this, I will not be getting any output because I have stopped the service of Apache. Now here I will not be having this output. Okay, it is important that we have to start Apache and MySQL. Only then we will be able to run PHP script. And if we want to use databases, then we have to start MySQL database. Okay, this is how we have to install XAMPP and we have done the basic setup and also we have written the PHP script. Next, how to create databases, how to create tables, we are going to see everything one by one. Okay, now inside that MySQL, we can create databases, we can create tables, we can do all the stuff we want. That's all for today's tutorial. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.